Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you a completely tieable T flip flop. So, this T flip flop is completely tieable, and it can pretty much go on forever. And this is a pretty uh, nice compact way for, and a pretty nice looking um, uh, way if you want to use for adders or adventure maps somehow, I don't know. So this one is uh, actually has a little uh, um, uh, reset button on it, which is, I guess, a little bit helpful, but it's not completely, um, you don't need it. So <laughs> anyways, let's get on to the main core of this D flip flop. So this D flip flop looks like this, and it comes in two different sets. So these two different sets only consist of the way you get the wires to from the uh, from the front of it to the actual meat of it, which is here on. From here on, um, it basically has a tieable. Um, uh, ha it has a tieable. Uh, what's it called? It's a it's a tieable mono stable circuit. You just connected some pistons and some uh, and. Uh, some buses, so <laughs> anyways. This is uh completely tieable. Let's uh demonstrate that now by doing the slash slash stack command for single player commands in world edit. So this is really helpful if you want to just make this and then just you can make craft ton of them like this, slash slash stack one hundred. And this is probably gonna lag a lot. And there we are. We just made a lot of T flip flops. Yeah. So <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, they all work. So I'm just gonna do slash slash undo because we don't want that. So now, if I just get my bearings on where the heck I'm going, so I'm just gonna do slash. Um, day. There we go. So, on to making this. So, we're just gonna build up like this. Well, we can just extend this over here and just make it from where this is. So, to make this, you just want to start out by this little, uh, uh, three by two little area you want for the, uh, display. So, well, more like the controls of it, but actually. So, first, on behi right behind the um, uh, buttons, you want to place a redstone dust and a repeater. N okay, so the re on the repeater side of the button, you just want to place a block right in front of that repeater. And then you want to place a block right below the block you just placed. So then we can place a redstone dust, dust there, and uh, hopefully we all know this, that when a, red, when a redstone repeater is pointing into a block, it will send the uh, power down, up, left, right, and forward. So we're taking advantage of the down, so then we can just go over around here, and uh, on the uh, redstone dust part, we just want to place a repeater there, and do the exact same thing as we did on the on the repeater side. So then we on this side we again we want to do what we did for um uh, this side, which is basically just that again, and then place a block above, and then a block down, and we're some dust. I'm just gonna get rid of this rain real quick since it's quite annoying. But then, uh, when it comes to this, it's just a little bit weird. All you have to do is place a repeater there, and you're done. So, now to actually make the monostable circuit, which is completely tieable, which makes the T-Full Fault work. And hopefully you guys all know this, but if you don't, then you learned something new today. So, when a very short pulse is put into a piston, a sticky piston to be exact, one very short pulse is uh, put into a sticky piston, and a block is right next to it. 
that block will uh, extend out and will, it will stay there. But when it is uh, pressed again, it will uh, be, you know, it'll be taken up and put in right next to the piston. So when we press that again, that short pulse comes around and just pushes that block out. And it will not retract the piston due to a uh, bug in um, when first the pistons first came out. That was uh, the piston du block duplication glitch, so if you weren't aware. So then all we want to do is place repeaters here, and torches there, and torches here, just like this. Just like in this fashion. But then we want to take these repeaters and put them at three ticks. Then we want to place torches here, a block here, here, and then we want to place two torches right here. So then we want to grab our pistons, which I didn't grab because I'm stupid. <laughs> so then we want to place uh, those pistons behind these redstone torches. Then we want to place blocks on top, right, right onto those two pistons. Next, we want to place two blocks here and place two torches. Then, after that, we want to place our another set of pistons on top of those torches. So, if you want the, if you don't want the signal or the output, like that's the output. Well, the output that you see, but there's also another output on the back. So if you don't want to have the output always be on, you want to place the uh, blocks right above these torches. This is basically inverting the signal without using any ver inverters. Kind of kind of weird, but it works. So all now all you want to do is alternate from redstone dust to repeaters. And now your uh, your uh, your thing's almost done, um, unless you do exactly what I'm doing right now, which is actually just creating the output for um, the back of it. So this is just if you want to string it straight out and not use any of these, which is which you can if you just go like this, and you can use that output. But if you don't want to you do that and just use what's readily available to you in the back, you can just string those out. So now these uh now you just made your uh, T flip flops that are completely tieable. And um yeah, I'll give you another example of that this finished version is still tieable. Not some cheap ripoff. <laughs> so no, no. Okay. Oh, no, not just yet. <laughs> so, slash slash stack five. And it works. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, um, if you did enjoy it, ratings are very much appreciated very much appreciated. Yay grammar. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in the next video.